Um, so I'll go through what I'm using. I'm using the obviously the rust -oleum. We've got the brown, called earth brown, army green, khaki, deep forest green. This is just a cheap flat black, and that's um, TS62. It's like a, a reddish, reddish brown. It's a lot more reddier. Is that a word? Than what it is on the, uh, the color code here. Um, each pattern is going to be quite distinct and very different. The first one we're going to do is I'm going to wrap the rifle in tape, then give it a, a coat of whatever uh, the base. Uh, actually, I'll rewind. The first thing I do is a base coat. The base coat is the khaki. So I've got to paint everything khaki, and I'll just give you a quick preview of what I end up doing. Uh, I'm going to do this. So with the tape, masking tape. All, all it is is just wrapping it around. You don't want lines like you want, yeah, straight lines. Try and avoid straight lines because nature doesn't really have any straight lines, so to speak. You just twist the, the, the tape to make it as thin or as thick as as you like. And come back if you wish. Just make it all random, you know. And what you can do is just do a twist in the tape to make it thinner. Like that. Just make it all totally random. No structures or set patterns, because again, you don't want to, that's what nature basically chemo is. No uh, lines or symmetry, so is that the word? Alright, so what I'll do is I've got to paint that khaki, blend it in paint all these other parts khaki and then I'll start with um, uh, a different color and then we'll um, wrap some more tape around it and, and then hit it with another color all right stand by all right so painted the suppressor and the buttstock so the next colour I'm going to go with is probably go with the brown spray it all not try to get anything over like over spray it hold the can there in one spot too long don't wait for it to dry
interesting to see how this turns out actually. I haven't done this for a long time. All used all these different colours. Yep, I actually like that brown. It's all right. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll give it another wrap of tape. And then we'll go to the next color. All right, next color I'm going with is what is it? Deep forest green. So I've, as you can see, I've retaped it. Let's spray over the top of it. Alright, last colour. This is the fourth colour. This is the army green. Alright, so I'll wait for that to dry, then we'll pull all the tape off and see what we got. Now this is either going to turn out really good or turn out really crap. Anyway, see how we go, eh? I'm hoping that it doesn't take the paint off as I go. Yeah, I don't think it turned out turned out too bad. That looks pretty nice. You could use less colours or more colours or if you if you're not happy with the result you could always wrap it with tape again and hit it with another colour or, or that you want more of. All right, so we go to, that's number one. So we go to number two next. Um, so first thing to do is I'll paint it with khaki, the whole thing again with khaki, and then start the layers. This one we're going to do uh, just stripes. Now you can do stripes all in the same direction or you can just make them random. I'd rather do it random. Um, the higher you hold the can up the wider the stripes are going to be. So anyway, enough of yapping. The 
This one's a pretty simple one. You want to try and join your lines. Next color, going with the brown. Now, I don't want to overspray this too much because there's not a lot of room for another color, but we'll see how we go. You could even just use like a scrim or something like that, um, or a um, laundry bag like the gauze netting, and use a different color. Anyway, here we go. I'll try and put it next to the green. Keeping that line, join the lines up. that dry all right so that's pattern number two that one's really simple and easy and quick came up pretty good 